These animals have another common name but did cause us some confusion. Argonauts are also known as paper nautilus but they aren't related to nautilus they're actually octopuses. The name Argonaut likely comes from the flaps found on female Argonauts. The primary function of the paper nautilus thin shell is to protect eggs. Unlike other octopuses, who hide their eggs in protective nooks on the ocean floor, paper nautiluses secrete a thin calcite shell in which they lay their eggs. The mother then carries her eggs up to 170,000 of them, around with her until they hatch. But the nursery isn't the only function of the paper nautilus shell, it can also serve as a flotation device. The animals can trap bubbles of air in the thin shell, which allows them to stay buoyant in the water column. This can help the females save energy as they drift along. Paper nautiluses are found in the open ocean in temperate and tropical waters, all are pelagic, meaning that they live in the water column. This is a different strategy than that of other octopuses who live on the ocean floor so they can dart into holes and crevices for protection. Argonauts breed via a male detaching his reproductive arm, Heptocotylus arm, which carries his perm in the female's body using her two flappy looking arms which are called dorsal arms. The female Argonaut will develop the shell in which her eggs will be encapsulated. Mass strandings refers to an aquatic animal observed in an inappropriate location. Example, an offshore species found in shore. Mass strandings of Argonauts have been reported in Japan in 1982. It is believed an estimated 6,300 female Argonauts of the species Argonauta Rago, weighing at about 600 kilograms were caught in coastal nets in western Japan. A number of mass strandings has also been recorded near coastal areas in Australia, New South Wales and Tasmania. Adult females are usually encountered at the surface at day, dusk and night. They tend to cling to objects floating or drifting on the water surface. Some were even observed riding jellyfishes, attached to seaweeds or attaching to other female individuals forming large chains up to 20 to 30 individuals. The shell can be found in fish markets in India and Japan. The shell is praised by collectors because of its beauty, coloration, sculpture, and fragility. However they are rarely seen even though they are not endangered. Argonauts may also succumb to predators including tuna, sharks, squids, marine mammals, penguin and other marine birds, but they come equipped with ink if they need to try and make a quick escape. On the flip side, Argonauts eat sea slugs, sea snails, small fish and crustaceans. So, what's interesting about the Argonaut is that its ancestors long ago evolved away the shell, then later on evolved an entirely new way of constructing it and an entirely new use for it as a reproductive aid. Still, though, it arrived at the same solution to the buoyancy problem that the early cephalopods solved with their own shells, which just goes to show what an endlessly creative force evolution is.